Absorption of thermal energy from the environment causes the ice to melt before the heater is switched on. This is shown by the red circle in the figure. Therefore, it is most likely that the heater is switched on around 4 minutes when the melting curve deviated from the red line shown above. The mass of ice melted in 1 minute can be obtained from the gradient of the red line and the mass will be 2.8 times 10 to the power minus 3 kg. The mass of ice melted in 1 minute can be obtained from the gradient of the dotted lines, so the mass will be 13.5 times 10 to the power minus 3 kg. So the mass of ice melted in 1 minute due to thermal energy from the heater alone will be 10.7 times 10 to the power minus 3 kg. Therefore, the latent heat will be 3.35 times 10 to the power of 5 joules per kg. If the ice taken directly from the freezer was used to replace the ice in the funnel, extra thermal energy is needed to increase the temperature of ice from below 0 Celsius to 0 Celsius. Thus, less mass of ice will melt for the same time interval, resulting in larger calculator-specific latent heat of fusion.